Hello friends, my name is Palash Chandradas. Today, the topic of discussion is terminal sterilization process. Uh, we'll be more around the moist heat part uh, in this part of session. Uh, and before going to start my main presentation, I would like to wish you all a very happy, prosperous and healthy new year. So, let's begin the presentation. Thank you. So friends, uh, before going ahead with my uh, main presentation, I would like to request you all uh, subscribe my channel and press the bell icon to get notification of my all upcoming videos. Thank you. So let's understand uh, the terminal sterilization process and we'll discuss a couple of techniques of terminal sterilization as well. Terminal sterilization is a process whereby a product is sterilized in its final container or packaging and which permits the measurement and evolution of quantifiable microbial lethality. So that's how auditors are encouraged to use terminal sterilizations over a aseptic processing which endures lots of manipulation, lots of manual handling process and which can, uh, you know, attract higher microbial contaminations. So, uh, the validated process, the validation of a steam sterilization cycle is depend on the equipment chosen. Exactly. The sterilizer and its support system must be designed and constructed to deliver the effective cycles. You know, and that should be repeatedly and consistently. So, this is important. Qualifications of the sterilizer consist of proper design installation according to the design operational testing to ensure that the design criteria and operational requirement are met and performance qualifications to confirm the product is sterilized as per specification that is important friends don't brought the equipment first understand your product understand what is the requirement for your product and design the equipment such a way it should fulfill the requirement of your product. Sterilizer design is geared uh, to the type of product or material or equipment as I'm talking in earlier paragraph as well uh, to be sterilized. All the steril steam sterilization cycles are based on contact with saturated steam. Friends, this is more important. Uh, based on contact with saturated steam steam air mixture people call us sam as well and superheated water so let's understand the uh, steam air mixture or sam process the primary benefit uh, to the steam air mixture process over a superheated water process is the product is not subjected to direct contact with the water except the condensation which is which in some cases can cause cosmetic issues uh, with the containers steam air mixture process typically utilize large recirculation fan to prevent the formation of cold or hot spot within the chamber the steam air mixture process typically use a indirect cooling method such as cooling of jacket or cooling coils within the sterilizer because indirect cooling method the cooling rate of the product is typically much slower and less efficient than the direct exposure of the product container into the cooling water hence friends remember so you the cooling time can be extended for your product here so this is a typical demonstration of steam air mixture process and you can see the sterile air and steam in inlet during the heating process and it is getting uh, you know mix with the help of this pan and it ensure the homogeneity within the chamber and ensure the proper temperature distribution and even the penetration within the product vials or product packaging materials and during cooling so it will be sterile air in and it will help to cool down the temperature of the container. 
few more controls and design consideration on SAM. So uh, jacket insulation, the jacket would utilize steam during heating and exposure phase of the cycles and cooling water can be introduced to the jacket during the cooling phase of the process. Thermostatic steam trap uh, to efficient remove of the condensate of the chamber. It is open when it's cool, it's closed when it is in contact with the steam. The condensate collect the trap opens uh, due to the slight temperature reductions and condensate is discharged from the chamber. This is a similar steam trap uh, to remove the steam condensate from the jacket as well. Fan continuously recirculating steam and air mixture during the heat up and exposure and to recirculate the air during the cooling. Cooling provisions, cooling coils and cooling uh, cooling provisions are available like cooling coil to cool the air and the product. Let's talk about the superheated water. Sterilization with recirculating superheated water, sometimes it's referred as water cascade sterilizer or raining process. It's more efficient than SAM and, uh, and is therefore more common. There are many type of recirculating superheated process. The most common is a process where the bottom portion of the sterilizer below the product zone is filled with water. You can see the water. And recirculating pump is used to continuously recirculate the water from bottom of the sterilizer to spray nozzle above the product zone so we can see so this is the recirculating pump this is the water collected uh, below the sterilizer and it's getting recirculated and and you can see the droplets it's like raining it's like a, a spray uh, around your product containers a slight modifications to the process is used on the water distribution plan in order to spray nozzle so you can you can have some different plan of distribution based on your product and uh, it's it can be from top it can be from the side as well and it can be top and side both as well so it's depend how uh, how you want to improve your heat distribution how you want to improve your heat penetration within the product Another version of the recirculating uh, superheated water process uh, is to completely submerge a product within the water, but the process is inefficient uh, from a utility consumption uh, standpoint. So let's see a little bit more on the superheated water. Uh, all this recirculating superheated water process utilize air overpressure, and the overpressure can be Control during the sterilization process to minimize most of container deformations. There is no limit of maximum overpressure used, but it would typically be limited by the chamber pressure rating. The minimum overpressure will be driven by the temperature being used and the pressure needed to maintain the desired product characteristics and required overpressure needed to prevent the recirculation pump from losing prime. These recirculation process are typically heated and cooled indirectly with external heat exchanger located at recirculating water loop, but indirect injection of the steam and cooling water can also be used. In addition to the typical sterilizer design consideration mentioned earlier, a superheated water sterilizer would also include a raj recirculating water system like pumps, piping, heat exchanger, heaters, spray nozzles, including specific water level control valve to mon and monitoring devices. Let's catch up quickly some pros and cons of the superheated and air um, and, and SAM. So superheated, it's easy to control heating and cooling rate because the water is directly in touch with your product containers. Indirect uh, so difficult for heating and cooling it can extend time so you need it's more efficient cooling control fans is critical to prevent uh, stratifications of air and steam short process durations long process durations mainly because the indirect cooling no consumption of 
clean steam you use only for filter sterilizations so otherwise you don't require to run the system consumption of clean steam is required uh, in in your steam process product is uh, uh, loaded weight uh, here the product is uh, easily uh, unload dry because you are not using water uh, higher water consumptions because the mainly your sterilization process is driven through the water only you need to spray spray and spray uh, all the way within the chamber uh, and, and there is no direct use of ultra pure water or wfi consumption in air steam process Thank you, friends. Hope you have enjoyed the first video uh, of this new year, uh, and uh, hope you will be will be you have enjoyed uh, your vacations with your friends and family. Thank you very much, friends. Uh, let's see uh, in my next video. Till then, bye bye. Take care.